Very tonight we begin with new safety practices to better handle gas line breaks here in the Midlands. This comes after two gas line breaks happened in a span of two months. Back in early July, a third party contractor broke a natural gas line near Highway 1 and I-20. On that day, a six mile stretch of I-20 was closed with traffic being tied up for hours. And then again at the end of August, another gas line break happened on Hard Scrabble Road in Northeast Richland County. Residents in that area were asked to shelter in place until the issue was resolved. And Columbia Fire reported that no evacuations were necessary at areas at area schools that were nearby because of the incident. Well, to help limit more gas line breaks from happening, Dominion Energy giving a demonstration today on safe construction protocols. News 19's Nate Stanley was there. Oh, oh it looks like that we got a hit. It's a worst case scenario for any construction crew hitting a gas line. We've obviously had some incidents in the news recently that, you know, you have to clear out areas of schools and, and subdivisions of that nature. So even a minor hit on a pipeline because you didn't call before you dig or click before you dig. Misty Wise from SC811 says the best way to prevent the majority of gas line breaks is to dial the national before you dig phone number at least three days before you plan to break ground and get approval. Roughly in the United States a few years ago, we had estimates that showed about every nine minutes a facility is hit. Um, if a locate request is called in or, or put in on our online system, it reduces that to about 1%. Workers from various surveying groups will come out to your property and map out the proposed dig location. Communication, gas, and electric lines will be marked by flags. I, I can tell you if it was a transmission line hit of sorts, it would pretty much demolish that entire area out there with obviously loss of life. It says you can see the product releasing. Marion Lee Part works as an infrastructure consultant. He says in his 56 years of construction work, he's heard the horror stories of people who weren't cautious. In, in some cases, I've seen a lot of water lines dug into, telephone lines disrupted, which is very important with the 911 system. Knowing where those utilities are when you dig in the ground saves lives every time. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Well, although three days notice is required before calling 811, you're advised to send in a survey request at least 12 days prior to your start date just in case changes need to be made.